Hi, I'm Teacher Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Mathematics. This is the specimen paper for 9231 Further Probability and Statistics for the 2020 exam series, question 2. Each of 200 identically biased dice is thrown repeatedly until an even number is obtained. The number of throws needed is recorded and the results are summarized in the following table. Carry out a goodness of fit test at the 5% significance level to test whether the geometric distribution with a probability of 0.6 is a satisfactory model for the data. I'm going to begin by identifying my null hypothesis and my alternative hypothesis. The distribution is a satisfactory model for the data, or the distribution is not a satisfactory model for the data. And to give us a bit more boardroom, I'm going to shrink those down. We're going to use the geometric distribution to estimate our expected frequencies based on number of throws. So I'll set up a table with my number of throws from 1 to 7. And then I'm going to use we can say 7 greater than or equal to 7 as they have noted. I want to calculate my expectation for each of these and I'm using the geometric distribution so we're working with P times 1 minus P to the power of R minus 1. And the R is the number of throws. That result I'm going to multiply by 200 because we are rolling 200 times. So this calculation for 1 through 7, actually 1 through 6, we'll see how the 7 plus works when we get there. I'll do this calculation for 1 through 6. In the first calculation I have P of 0.6 times 1 minus p to the power of r minus 1, which is 0 0.4 to the power of 1 minus 1. I multiply that by 200, and I get 120. So my expectation is 120 rolls that produce 1. And as I work my way across, when I use r equals 2, I get the value of 48. r equals 3. 19.2 r equals 4 7.68 r equals 5 3.072 r equals 6 1.2288 now the expectation I'm calculating for 7 plus I'm going to put into a box. And I'm going to describe this as a residual. The residual is coming from the sum should be 200 of the values I have for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then the greater than or equal to 7 category. So the residual is coming from 200 minus 120 minus 48 minus the other values, all of 1 through 6, and I get 0 0.8192. That is not, important to note, not coming from using r equals 7 in the geometric expression. It's coming from 200 minus the other calculations, so that now all of those calculations sum to exactly 200. From here I need to adjust because my expectations all need to be greater than or equal to 5. And I have three categories, 5 rolls, 6 rolls, 7 rolls, that are all less than 5. So I'm going to add the 7 plus category to the 6. And when I do that, even without the exact number, I can see that that's going to combined still be less than 5. 
So I'm going to take these two and add them to the 5. And when I add those three numbers, I will get a value that's greater than or equal to 5. Those combined give me what I'm going to use for the 5 rolls. The value is 5.12. And the values for 1, 2, 3, and 4 remain the same. I'm going to, from the table, bring down my actual frequencies. I have 126, then 43, then 22, then 3. And as I've combined categories 5, 6, and 7 plus, I'll combine the actuals as well. 5 plus 1 plus 0 is 6. To get to my test statistic for each of my categories, I need to calculate the difference between observed minus expected as a quantity squared over expected. So let me be clear on my labeling. The calculations that I did with the geometric expression, those are my expected values. And the calculations I've brought down from the given table those are the observed values. And so for each of my categories, observed minus expected is 126 minus 20. That value squared over expected, which is 120, so I end up with 36 over 120. And when I do that in the calculator, I get 3 over 10. Similarly, for the category 2, I have 43 minus 48. I square that difference. I divide by the expectation of 48. And I have the value 25 over 48. Same for three rolls. The result is 49 over 120. For the category of four rules, I end up with the decimal 2.851875. That's an exact value. You don't have to write it in exact form, but if you, since you're going to use it, you would want to, if you're not going to write it out in exact form, store it in your calculator so that you can use the exact value when we calculate the test statistic. And for my final calculation, for the category of five rules, and I'm no longer working with categories of six and seven, we've combined five, six, and seven into one category. The expectation for this category is 5.12. The observed is 6, which came from the table above, 5 plus 1 plus 0. And when I calculate quantity O minus E squared over E, I get the fraction 121 over 800. And now I can calculate the test statistic. Chi squared equals the sum of all of these calculations that I've made, quantity O minus E squared over E, and that sum is, in this case, we can go ahead and use a decimal value because we'll be comparing this test statistic to a critical value. So my decimal value for chi squared is 4.23. For my critical value, I'm going to use the chi squared table and I'm looking for chi-squared using degrees of freedom of 5 minus 1 minus 0. The 5 is my 5 categories, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 rolls, not 7 categories because I've reduced 5, 6, and 7 to 1 category, so I have 5 categories. Minus 1 is an adjustment that I always make. And the minus zero is because I have not estimated any parameters. The parameter that we're working with, the probability of 0 0.6, was given. There was no need for an estimate. 
Thus, the minus zero is indicating that we're not making an adjustment because we estimated zero parameters. And we're working with a 5% significance level, so I'll be looking at 0 0.95. And that lookup gives me 9.49. The calculated test statistic is 4.23. The lookup critical value, 9.49. The test statistic is less than the critical value. We thus do not reject the null hypothesis. We state what this means. What this means is that the geometric distribution with a probability of 0 0.6 is a satisfactory model for the data. And this completes the requirements for question two.